Hey folks, BFG Neil here, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Helium Wallet app. I've been using it for a little while now, and as of yesterday, it's now an open beta. So what's it all about? What's good about it? And what changes? So what is a wallet? A wallet is an online account that holds any coins you earn. This could be mined, um, traded, or bought from an exchange. And it's a digital account that only you have the keys for. So the wallets are secured with 12 words at the moment. The new wallet app has 24 words. That is the only way into a wallet. In the Helium world, when you onboard a hotspot, you mark that hotspot as being owned by your wallet. So any earnings that you have from the hotspot aren't paid directly out to the hotspot, but they're paid out to the owner's wallet. So every time you complete activity like POC, data transfer, um, th that activity, once it settles, it settles to your wallet rather than the hotspot. So what are the new 12, 24 words? Well, wallets are accessed using these seed words. In Helium's case, it used to be 12 words, but the new app will allow you to create new accounts of 24 words too. They're the only way that you can access a wallet, and these can't be changed by anyone. So Helium can't change them. Um, anyone else that has access to the code can't change them for you. They're tied to your account. It's kind of like an account identifier as well as a password. So they can't be changed. Obviously, you could bring up new wallets and create new seed phrases, but we can't reset um, the seed words and they can't be accessed by anyone else so they're the only way into a wallet so it's really important that you back these up and um, one thing to note is never take screenshots um, screenshots can be uploaded to the cloud and sometimes those cloud things can be hacked so it's really important that you don't do that and um, it's best to write them down safe and store them somewhere safe and make sure no one has access to them um, and another step that i also like to take is make sure you keep an off-site copy so if something happened to your house um, if you don't have a copy of those words save somewhere else then um, you're going to have problems getting into your wallet these are the only ways to get into the wallet so it's so important that you keep them safe so what's new with the helium wallet well first let's talk about the old app the old app had many jobs including wallet transactions so sending and receiving funds adding hotspots you know onboarding them onto the network hotspot management so is your hotspot working running bluetooth diagnostics and also a hotspot research so when you're looking around and seeing how hotspots are working in your area and what the new app does is it separates that wallet functionality from the manufacturer and hotspot management side so the hotspot manufacturers now produce apps but the main app just focuses on being a wallet so this means that the wallet can be much more lightweight and if there's problems with people loading up you know to check their hotspot out it takes some of that traffic away and focuses it on the maker app right so the wallet will have much better uptime and much better visibility because it won't, the api behind it won't be hammered as much it just makes the, the, the situation much easier to handle and allows them to focus on being what most cryptocurrencies use, you know, a plain wallet. Just strip that functionality down to its main, main point. You know, I'm not interested in hotspots when I'm looking at my wallet balance or checking how much I'm earning. But at the same time, when I'm managing hotspots, I don't need any wallet information. So separating the two really does help um, target the app to be what they need to be. So let's talk about some of the new features of the app. We've got a new look UI address book you can now manage multiple accounts from the same app and deep link support for manufacturers apps a word of caution in here is to not trust manufacturers that ask for your 12 words the, the manufacturers should support deep linking into the original wallet app so whenever they need to make a transaction it deep links to the app and says is this okay to do the app replies yes once they've logged in um, to the app with the biometrics or the pin and then it passes it back saying, yes, this transaction's gone through. If the manufacturer asks you for 12 words, you should be rejecting that app, talking to the manufacturer and saying, you know, this isn't secure. You must use deep linking, not 12 words. I personally wouldn't use an app that asked me for my 12 words. The only account I trust with this is the Helium Wallet app. And remember, be careful where you download these manufacturers apps from. So make sure you're getting them from a trusted source. Just because someone's told you that you can download this and it's a manufacturers app doesn't mean it is. So be really, really careful when you're downloading these manufacturers apps. So what happens to my existing hotspots? Well, if you're an early bird and you have a Helium hotspot, you will always manage them through this wallet app. But as and when manufacturers are ready and they've produced an app, support for existing hotspots will be taken from the wallet app and moved over to the manufacturer app so until the, the stage that everyone's ready and happy with the new app and their app development um, you'll be able to manage the existing hotspots in this wallet app so there's no rush there's no there's no forcing of them to do this as soon as they're ready support gets removed from the wallet and the new app replaces it so if you're interested in joining the beta program early there's a link in the description to download the app feel free to use it import existing accounts and test it out
you know, it's at a very stable state now. Um, and just check it with the manufacturer apps, you know. Just be careful again, if the manufacturer asks you for your 12 words, you should be rejecting that app. But let me know, let me know what you think. Drop a comment below and remember like and subscribe. Thanks, bye for now.